Hi everyone! Kumusta na kayo? I hope you're doing great today. I'm doing fine as well. And welcome to my channel, the best place for freelancing, lifestyle, business, and self-development. So for today's video, I'll be sharing to you some tips or golden rules on how you would stand out despite you being a newbie virtual assistant. So don't you know that for most recruiters, it takes 6 seconds or less to check your resume and decide if it deserves another look. Your 1-2 to two page resume needs to demonstrate all your capacities in a flash, must comprise your talents, your skills, your potential in a stunning layout. But we must not treat our resume simply as a transcript of records, a list of our achievements and accomplishments and yada yada yada. But we must treat it as our marketing tool for us to stand out amongst other competitors. So what I try to achieve in my resume is to reflect professionalism, diligence as a working professional, and a touch of personification. Through your resume, they will have an idea of what kind of a person you are. Commercial, don't forget to please hit like and subscribe and click the bell button below para updated ka sa mga video. Of course, there is no right or wrong resume. It's your own preference. But the following tips that I'll be sharing to you will help you stand out despite you being a newbie. And of course, before anything else, I have to give credit to Nikki B's vlog. It's from her vlog that I discovered this type of resume. This modern you know um creative resume that will of course attract recruiters or clients attention because before what i know about resume is the traditional resume that is written in the microsoft word and so i'll be uh, um putting the link below in the description box and you can check out her other contents about virtual assistant so that's it thank you nikki b's vlog for this and so let's get started with the general looks and feels of your resume ditch the traditional one and use canva so canva is a tool that will help you um, have a creative resume and it's a free tool but there's also a paid you know premium subscription of it and you don't need to download the app you just have to you know go to their website and then you know register from there and you can use your facebook or google to register and you can use the Canva for um, your personal or your professional needs, your business. Um, you can also create PowerPoint presentations and infographics and yeah, resume. So you have all you need in Canva. And it's very user-friendly compared to the Adobe you know adobe apps and yes um it can do you wonder so you better check it out and in canva as well there are already templates that you can use and you just have to you know pick the template or the design that that you want and you just have to you know edit the you know the informations with your own information for your for example in your resume so check this out so as you can see here in my resume i created it from scratch using still the tools that is in that's in canva and as you can see i just use colors um palette that still looks professional and um you can research on color psychology to know what colors that are appropriate to use to reflect your personal branding i advise you have to avoid color red because it looks um kind of violent you can use neutral colors such as blue white black and you know other other colors and as you can see as well um i have also located i've also applied the logo of amazon so that it would be more attractive to the clients um, looking for Amazon virtual assistant and I just you know um, applied some colors that will blend with the color like light yellow um, yes such as like light brown and like light orange so this is how um, my resume looks like and it also has a touch of like personification because I like using marbles and so I have also um, included the you know touch of marble in my resume so that it looks professional and you know sophisticated and yeah all of that so the second tip is photos so why should you include photos in your resume first it will help you build your brand second it's beneficial to global job seekers and third hiring manager and clients are drawn to looking at 
images. But on the other hand, there are cases when you don't need to include your photo in your resume because there are some countries which are very they're very strict with their labor laws they don't want to discriminate their hiring process in terms of the applicants race um gender um uh, age appearance or etc so for the photo tips for your resume or cv if you're going to provide a resume photo, it better be a good one. Follow this do's and don'ts to help you make a great first impression. So do's, do dress according to the role or the company culture. You know, my take on this is that you just have to dress professionally and presentable. Um, you can take a picture while using a, you know, your blazer and um, just make sure that um, it's um, clean looking and professional. Okay, next we have here, do consider hiring a professional photographer. So if you have a budget, then it's okay. But if you don't have a high budget, like um, you can just, you know, do your own photo. But again, make sure to make it professional looking. Next is do match your resume CV photo with your LinkedIn photo. Employers who look at your resume and then search you on LinkedIn will quickly recognize your personal brand. And for the don'ts, don't use a selfie image. And next is don't cause distraction. You don't want recruiters to focus on how you, you look, but your skills and experience instead. No fashion statements, crazy hairstyle, or makeup experiments, or, you know, extra, extra big accessories. And lastly, don't oversize your photo. You may look great, but you don't want to take up the precious space you need for your resume contents. So... Um, a small passport size photo in the top right corner of your resume will suffice. And on the other hand, here are other um, ideal photo for our resume. Check this out. So that's it. Let's proceed. Tip number three. Make sure that your resume is focused more on your client's needs and not your personal needs. So before, I used to notice objectives usually on the first part of the resume. For example, to be able to work in a career-oriented and challenging environment that promotes self-development or career growth. So basically, that objective caters more on your personal needs and not of that company. So scratch that out. So you need to express what the client will benefit from you and what you can do for them. So in my resume, I ditch out the objectives and replace it with a short statement or summary of my skills as an Amazon virtual assistant. This is more straightforward and will automatically attract the client's attention in an instant compared to the objectives which are like usually scripted and you know just repeating with um, the rest of the applicants um, written in their resume. Next is seminars or trainings attended. So this is very important because us. Um, as a newbie in the field of freelancing, you know, I place myself um, expressing that despite me being a newbie in the field, I am not just a newbie. I am eager and determined to learn as I have invested myself with time, with money, with effort, and learning about all these things just to be, you know, competent with the knowledge and the skills to, to for this role. This would help client appreciate our determination and would expect that this would also translate with our work ethics because honestly, I myself, if I will put myself in the position of the client, I would gladly hire a newbie that is eager, that is honest, that is self-aware of the things that he needs to improve more just to do the job, execute it, deliver it as expected compared to someone who has been doing this all along for so long but has no integrity with what they do so that's it there are clients that would really appreciate that so don't tayo sa marunong mag appreciate because yes trust me there are truly clients that appreciates um, that character in us and for the newbies who have already gained experience for a few months then don't forget to highlight that in your resume as well as long as it is relevant to the job that you're applying for next is top skills so in this portion make sure to list all the skills that are relevant to the job position that you're applying for and yes 
yes, soft skills are appreciated and needed to still be included in the resume, but um, I prefer to include my technical skills on this portion that is relevant to the job. Because for example, my professional background is really in the field of training and development for eight years. And since um, the job position that I'm applying for, they're not looking for a trainer, but a virtual assistant. I did not emphasize that. But I still included that in my top skills. So that's it. Oh, also include your work experience. And yes, in the work experience, that's when I included my professional background. And it is also important to note that um, include what you have learned from your previous job, the skills that you have learned from your previous job that you can bring into your new role and that can actually help you in your new role. And don't forget to include your education. So in this portion, as you see in my resume, I have also included core values. So you can either indicate your core values or your strengths. Um, again, the strengths are where you can also, you know, highlight your soft skills um, in this part. And I have a story. Um, story time. So I have my ever first client who found my resume in Online Jobs PH. Um, he told me, well, when I was already working with him, he told me that uh, he hired me because he was attracted to what I wrote in, a, in my resume. He was aligned with the core values that I indicated with my resume, which is God-centeredness, integrity, and respect. So uh, in that way, like what I have mentioned to you earlier in this video, that um, I would also want to give like personification, um, uh, how the client will also perceive you or an impression of what type of person you are. So that's it. So then um yes it's a good way of of also um showing um your not only professional professional background but also your like personality so that's it so i got my client because of my core values next is software tools so it is important for you to take note of the tools that you have used that is relevant to the job that you're applying for so yes it is also helpful for the client to know that you are um, familiar or have knowledge with these tools and what are other tools that you're you know looking forward to use and learn for 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 it to be helpful in your in your job and of course this will be beneficial and efficient to both parties as well and don't ever forget your contact details it is very important for them to know where to contact you so um, just exhaust all the contact details that you are using so that there is no reason that they will not they cannot contact you so for your character reference make sure to include this in your resume though there are other clients who doesn't mind this portion but um, it's best for you to have it already ready um, since um, most especially bigger companies requires and really do background checks for their applicants and I also happen to know a big company hello um, healthcare virtual assistant they they even needed the NBI clearance so yes it's best for you to have this ready so that you know um, your recruitment recruit, hiring process um, will be a smooth sailing and last but not the least is the self introduction video so there are other applicants who doesn't already do this um, it's okay it's up to them it's their you know preference but as a newbie virtual assistant and as someone who would also you know maximize one of the strengths that you have and um, it's it's nice to have this in your resume since it will also help you stand out from the rest of the applicants and you know the clients the potential clients will have the opportunity to listen to how you speak if you can communicate well um most especially since the clients are are from other countries so it will also you know help them um, decide if i would want to work with this person since this person um is good in communicating so that's um one of the you know advantages of having self-introduction video in your resume and of course they would also want to get to know you um um with a short video so one minute is enough for that um self-introduction video and what i would want to change and improve um last part in my resume is a call to action so you can just include since i'm not really that techy person and i wish that i would also that i can include that in my resume um, as I would want to improve my resume more, um, you know, that call to action, for example, let's connect or let's chat. Let me know if you can do, uh, let me know what I can, I can help you. And, you know, it will 
just, they would click that link and it would lead to your website uh, so stuff like that so that's it so that's it that's the end of my video i hope you learned something valuable today and thank you so much for staying with me at the end of this video and i hope you guys would like and subscribe and don't forget to comment down below what you think about this content and what other tips that you would want to share for other newbies or applicants um that would that will be able to see this video so that's it and i usually upload twice a week either fridays or saturdays and wednesdays so i hope um you guys would still support my upcoming videos and yes thank you so much it's, it's been a great um day today and i hope you guys will have a good day and good life and magina po tayo lahat since pandemic pa and let's not forget to pray 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 and god will um get us through this pandemic so thank you so much see you on my next video bye bye